Oh god, this is oh Jesus, they're jumping at me! Oh! <laughs> Dude, okay, being a feather light, it's exactly like what you'd imagine. Yo, what's going on, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Ark Play as Dino Survival Aberration. Crazy animal nonsense. So today there's been a crazy update, or last night I should say. Got this message on my Discord saying that all aberration light pets have been added to play as Dino, which was freaking honestly heartbreaking because I had already put out my second video, so I had to wait till the whole next day to do it. But now that I'm here, look at this. We got your bulldog, we got your feather lights, we got, look at this little turkey. We got your- where are you at, buddy? Where's my- my, my freaking- what, what? I can't see straights. Glowtail! And we have your Shinehorn. Look how freaking splendiferous that is. So before we even start this, make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys want to see more Play as Dino and stuff. Honestly, now doing- because that last Play as Dino aberration video we did on the PvP subscriber server was madness. Within five minutes, everyone's coming in as dragons and Dodo Rexes. I was as guilty as everyone else. But I think, I, let me know down below if we should do another one and just everyone specifically only could come in as light pets. We can enforce that with the ban hammer. <laughs> Alright, so for starters, obviously I'm going in as this little adorable turd. Oh, by the way, really quick, I, I hate to plug merchandise, but I see a lot of YouTubers do it, so I'm assuming it's allowed. I just brought a new shirt to my merchandise market. Check it out right there. It's a Riot Raptor. How dope is that? A Raptor and Riot gear. Dopest stuff ever, dude. Dopest dope I've ever smoked. Alright, so if I was gonna go in as this little guy... Okay, so color region 4 actually changes your light. The light you'd like to emit, which I would actually... I feel like white lights would be... That would be pretty dope, right? I mean, I'm already red. I usually prefer to give off a red light because it just reeks of the dark side. I feel like this thing could not look more incredulously venomous if it tried. Okay, and where would we want to go? I guess let's go down to the edge and let's do this thing. The most splendiferous thing about being, I think the, the glow tail might be my favorite one. Look at this, press C to activate your life, life, light, and space part of glide. So here we are, look at our adorable little yellow toes. This kind of thing in, in reality would be so freaking cute that I'd be horrified to touch it. It just looks like it has so many neurotoxins and everything, just, just, it just emits. Now you don't have the Drake ability to climb, actually can you? Nope, 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 space bar! Break off into the glide, look at that. He just spreads his legs and learns to fly. <laughs> this right here is why I'd be so freak. Okay, well now we've somehow walked into the ground. There we go. And we're just off on our little mission. Now, I don't think any of the light pets could breed or anything yet. Right now, you're able to just play at them. Or play as them. Look how adorable this is though. Oh my god! We have a tongue extendo move. Are you serious? That is crazy, because the dev was telling me there's some animations in the dev kit that were not utilized, and they are utilized in this mod. Kind of like how Shadlos made that, made that Venatar mod that's essentially a King Reaper, but with the ability to tongue strike, it's like everything has the tongue strike ability in Aberration. They just got rid of it. There is a whole tongue striking aspect to Aberration we, didn't even, we wouldn't even have knew existed. Alright. <laughs> Okay, so it's, I wouldn't really call this gliding as much as a parachute. I feel like I'm playing freaking PUBG right now. No, I don't. The adult in me wants to say I feel like I'm playing PUBG right now, but I know damn well I feel like I'm playing Fortnite. A game's just so crazy addicting. Thank you so much everyone who came out to my stream yesterday, by the way. We played like seven games and we won three of them. And we got so close to winning like three more of them. We're getting better, man. Getting better. It may seem like I'm just ranting. I'm actually just trying to make my way to the edge over here, finally. So we could break down into- Okay, now we definitely take radiation damage. Even if light pets don't, or even if glow tails don't, um... Which they typically don't, they only get hurt by those blue spores and stuff like that. The mod isn't as 100 these were just added. Eventually it'll be so these creatures can withstand their deal of radiation. And then after that you'll be able to breed as the creatures, which is just gonna be amazing. Can't wait to try and look how cute that is. We'll get a full glimpse of how beautiful it is once we get this nice wide open dive right here. Oh yeah. Yeah, the white light was a good choice because it's just, it's, I mean, not really. Probably the most, oh god, oh I thought everything pooped out. It's probably the most blank choice, but I'm trying to make sure I, when I drop off, I don't drop off into a radioactive zone. Radioactive zone, Johnny. Alright, we should be good here. Alright, let's get a little movement speed. Should we go stamina? This creature has it just drains its stamina so fast. The best thing about this mod, I, I don't even know if it's being able to play as the creatures anymore or just the colors you could give them. Alright, buddy. See, it's not really a glide. It's, I mean, it's essentially how it, if we could just lean a little forward, then it would be a perfect glide. 
This is this. This is how ballers get around, ladies and gentlemen. Oh god! This baller took some damage. Now on the downside, I'm not really sure what's below us in the food chain. Oh, this now we got that glide working. In fact, I'm like 99% sure nothing's below us in the food chain. Yeah, like how freaking huge that mole rat is. Oh, what's going on below me in the food chain? I just wanna wait and see if we can gather. Oh, we can't gather meat yet. That sucks. Oh no, it's like the bulldog. Until that update comes in, you're essentially doomed to um, eventual starvation. Look how freaking huge everything is compared to us. That's what's so freaky about being a light pet. Like in that play as Dino PvP video we did when a bunch of us were bulldogs running around and then we charged a basilisk. That was like the scariest experience of my life. The snakes are huge when you're tiny. Yeah, there's definitely nothing down here below us in the food chain. Oh no! Okay, see, I was worried about that. The only thing that sometimes dismounts people from their creatures and ruins the entire play as Dino effect is when a Karkonos gets a hold of you. Holy hell! Alright, that was very interesting. Survival. God damn it. I mean, it's essentially what you'd imagine. You're not even like on the small creature range. You're in the light pet range. You're li you're, your only purpose is bringing lights. You're Rudolph, essentially, without the bat kick. Basically, what I'm trying to speak to you guys is that you- Oh my god, I get to control the color of my legs. There is a god, and he has chosen me. Hang on. We don't get a color region for, I guess, because you just emit the light. But we don't look at that beautiful little bird right there. Holy crap. Are we gonna get to fly right now? I think we are, dude. Oh, I think we're already flying. Well then vice versa, do we get to step back down? Oh, this is gonna be so much fun playing with everybody together as a bunch of freaking light pets. It's gonna be ridiculous how easy we all die. We're gonna really need to watch out for some trolls. So we could come in as like a freaking bee, a bumblebee, and get all of us. So I guess, okay, so the, the, the glue tail gets the glide, but that tongue lick though, dude, that tongue lick, it would, I imagine it's to pull creatures in, but I can't imagine what's below them, like what the hell would a, what the hell would they even pull, okay, we are just, yeah, you really can't do anything as a freaking light pet, you, you just kind of fly around absentmindedly until some nice player stops by and puts mushrooms in your face. Oh god, this is, oh Jesus, they're jumping at me, oh, <laughs> Dude, okay, being a feather light is exactly like what you'd imagine. You just complete bottom of the food chain, flying around, waiting at Nibbledon. Alright, I'm gonna try out this tongue move once more. I totally just kind of forgot that this was like some revolutionary thing that I should be tripping out over. But it's got this little tongue. Look at all these weird little flaps on this guy. I saw, I'd be so torn down the middle if I ever found one of these. Like, do I pick it up and risk death? But also risk the best friendship anyone can ever have? A light pet? Whoa! Look at that stretchy bastard. That's weird how that kind of stuff still happens. Like there's, <laughs> there's just no fix for stretchy. What's going on, bud? Damn, you guys are so much bigger than I never really, really thought about how much bigger you guys were. Oh my God! Look at that liquid word first person. Hang on. This guy is gonna pick one of us to come victimize, and I'd rather it not be me. Can I lick you, buddy? Come here. Oh my god, what that tongue do? Oh, Jesus! Dude, be, we're just bottom, bottom, direct. Oh, Lord, I miss my. We are so screwed right now. I will go out licking. Yeah! Yeah! He's actually losing a. Oh my god, what the hell just happened? We have the most powerful tongue known to man. Run, Johnny! Oh! Hey, yeah, damn right, I leveled up. We do not have a damage option. It would seem I should have put that into stamina. Stamina is everything for these little guys. So that's cool. You actually have a decent chance of survival. I noticed that as well. He made the bulldogs do it. Or bulldogs. I keep calling them bulldogs because that mod where it makes giant bulldogs called bulldogs. But those little bulldogs actually do a lot of damage with their tongue. I mean with their bites. We descend and snipe. You don't get to pull things in. You just get to lick them to death though. That is freaking sweet. I will give me that. Look at that little tongue. It's super cool. I wish this was a thing. I wish there was like tiny little insects all around this map like little fireflies. I guess they're just fireflies. They're just huge. But more like fireflies and like arc. No, they are, they are dark. What was that one mod that added just tiny little micro little balls of light everywhere that were fireflies? I think that was just part of a map and I never, I never grasped that concept. All right, call me crazy, but now I'm thinking we need a fifth light pets. I think a mod developer might have to be the one to implement it. 
But we need one that's specifically aquatic, the way I see it. Like how the Feather Light's basically a strict flyer. Tony, but I mean, you can land on the ground and such, but it's a flyer, you know, it's a bird. I feel like we need one that's specifically aquatic. And not like the bulldog with its little fish fins, because it's still just a little bulbous fart in the water. You know what it is? We gotta be in some freaking glow tail caves, dude. We're not meant to be roaming out here in the in the in the nothingness. How far does my tongue reach? Not that far, actually. No, not far at all. Not even the slightest. It's it's it's. I mean, it's huge for our size. No, that thing's it's like about the size of our potty. Holy crap! I've been through this before. Get him, tongue. Tongue, get him. Strike down, tongue, while he's weak. Okay, we went to sleep, but I'm kind of noticing that when we're striking, that, um, they can't attack. Alright, I see the Shine Horns definitely top three ones I've been most excited for. I do kind of just stick to red and cyan, I'll be honest, but they're just so good. Okay, no, we'll go red or yellow. Whoa, look how much extra fur he's got when he goes in. That's why it looks so weird, because sometimes it doesn't load the fur when you're looking at colors. I thought he looked weird. He's freaking hairless is what happened. And he's red, so it looks like he was skinned alive or something. That's some happy tree friends type stuff right there. I don't know. That's a pretty beautiful goat. Oh my god. Look at this little cutie. Go ahead and comment down below actually which your favorite one is. Not counting the uh, the feather lights. I mean the feather lights. The feather. Oh, I'm supposed to go this way. The feather lights pretty cool too. I'm not going to lie. The feather lights adorable. But I think when we're doing like transportation. It's got to be in between. Even the bulldog might have trouble keeping up. No actually. I think this. This is just the farthest traveling one. To be honest, this is the most adorable I've ever felt in my life. Oh my god, it's got the little jump and everything too. It's the only one that can jump actually, which makes it extremely freaking useful. Jesus Christ, you really do get like a huge glimpse of pure insignificance and weakness as these guys. Like, what's going on, dude? How do you cope with the fact that- How are you so freaking big? Bulldogs are huge! I never really thought about how big bulldogs were until I shrunk down to this size. And now they're like the gargant- They're the beasts of the light pet world. I get that now. Look at our dainty, oh my god, yeah, we would just be, the, we would be, you would find our skeletons all over this place, the main food source for everything. What is that? Oh, what is, is that intimidating? Look at it, you better back up, he'll get you. He's a tough little guy, I'm just not buying into this thing's little tough act whatsoever. You're just too little, buddy. It's just not a thing. Even the slicer is freaking huge. Luckily again, we do have the ability to do great amounts of damage, which you need Absolutely, you have 100 health dude 100 health. That's that's preposterous, but we are like a freaking We are a light horn Like this we are I feel like we're definitely all gonna go in as um as glow tails when we all do PvP at least first because They could just They have a good mode of transportation. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh good lord He's so much bigger this is just terrifying right here. Oh my god, you angels! You angels! Oh, you devils! <laughs> this is such a roller coaster of emotion right there. So now I just literally had to come in as this creature just for a little bit of. Oh my god, I already have to Hulk out. No, no, no. Hulk out, Johnny! Ooh, look at our back get all bubbly. Oh god, this place is hard to survive as, man! Even a, even a nameless, even a nameless, in all fairness, I barely had a chance to go at those guys. They put me right back in that location. I need to feel power again because those freaking, oh my god. Hulk out quick, Johnny. Ew. I would not even want to stand near this. How do you know he's going to stop at the alpha? How do you know he's not just imploding or exploding? He's just going to get nameless guts all over you. They're, they're so strong, dude. There's power in numbers like you know, it's funny. I bet if I came in as a freaking glow tail right now I'd kick the crap out of all of them I'm definitely gonna call it these little guys are my favorite out of all the light pets for sure at least to play as for like I, I feel like at least most of us out there, right? Have you guys ever owned a lizard or a gecko at least some sort of reptile even me? I barely owned any pets ever and I've still had like three geckos a newt and like four anoles I mean they are all dead now, but in their prime they were they were epic if there's any way to implement wall climbing with these guys, I feel like that'd be the only thing I could request. I don't know if that's even possible. Uh, like, that that might be the most difficult freaking thing I've ever seen is how no modded creature has ever had a wall climbing added to it in the history of ARC mods. That's just not a thing. But if, if wall climbing was implemented with this guy, he might almost take the cake with me over Rock Drakes. I don't know, but this, he's just more new to me and fresh, Rock Drakes. I'm still waiting for someone to make a modern version of the rock drake where it doesn't have feathers because it's you just you just need to remove those textures and then it's like a whole new animal dude 
Descend! Okay, yeah, it's really about the running start you get. If you do this kind of stuff, then you're just gonna... You're just gonna fall. Actually, we just pumped the brakes last second, though, can't we? No, there's no slowing it down! Oh, my God! Oh, now we got that straight away. Okay, so we learned two things right there. You can't just do it last second. Gravity still pulls you down like crazy. And two, you wanna have a tongue fight? Tongue fight! I feel like we're actually directly in his food chain. This would almost be a little, uh, a little, a little auspicious. What is it? Oh my god! Oh, karma is sweet and quick is what that is. Oh, good lord, just came charge out over his tongue. Holy hell. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here you have light pets in Player's Dino, something I think we've all been waiting for for a very freaking long time. Thank God, Fantastic exists and made the Player's Dino mod, because now we all get to get in a PvP server together and probably have the biggest, craziest, disgusting tongue fights ever. Look at that. He just collapsed over me under my tongue. It's a beautiful world we're living in. All right, so let me know down below if you guys want to see it in a video like we did last time and then it was pretty, except next time, of course, there's gonna be limits. No one's coming in as boss creatures, light pets only. That's the rule on the server, just to keep it aberration specific. Last time was fun as hell, but it was anarchy. All right, well, I'm trapped. Oh, no, I'm not. I got my way out of there. Ha ha. But yes, if you guys want to see more plays Dino, specifically Arc Aberration or his light pets, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful people next time. Peace! It's time to get swifty in here.